the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. December 22nd, 2020. So Bitcoin is out to sucker people in for the Christmas holidays. Be very careful. Once again, Bitcoin's price is in the handful of wallets. The price is controlled by a handful of wallets. We're going to stay with the mainstream media and forget pretty much about social media in terms of our major approach to getting out the word on sports investing versus sports gambling. We still believe in the mainstream media and search, basically getting covered by mainstream media, and then people go to Google and they look you up. That's worked for us for the last 15 years, and we're going to stick with it. So lots of sports books are reporting numbers, including like a billion dollars turnover. Again, turnover doesn't mean anything in New Jersey. There's no profit or very, very tiny profit before taxation. And remember that there are no negative costs applied to this equation, meaning the social ills and other things that are laid off on the state. So once again, the tax revenues never come in where they should, not even close. And nobody accounts for the damage, not only to the society, but to sports in general. So the NCAA case uh, regarding paying student players is going to the Supreme Court. This is definitely something you want to watch because it could open up an entirely new market for us um, in terms of ASM's prospects if this goes this direction, which looks like it's headed that way. I mean, it makes no sense really to be able to profit from the likenesses and so forth of these uh, athletes and everything, and they don't get any part of it. So regarding the turnover of the Leon default judgment from 10 years ago, we are aggressively pursuing that on both the state and the federal side. We will be filing a complaint against the judge in California. It won't be this month. It'll be next month. Uh, it's too much going on here this month. But that's going to happen. Um, I was denied my day in court. That's not allowed by the Constitution. It's very clear. And if you don't think this is a good idea, then you're not on our side of the game here because uh, this is essential to ridding the public domain of this lie and getting us on track and uh, get to our goals. So if you have a different view, get lost. That's what I want to tell you. Get lost because it makes no sense that you would support the fact that I never got a chance to defend myself in court and explain what ASM was. It did not happen. There's no way to no way in the world to see anything otherwise. Just look at the record. So 30 plus states do not allow collecting of gambling debts. Uh, this is a house of cards for the gambling operators here in the states. Uh, we're still doing research on this, but should this prove out to be correct, the legal analysis, then these entire industries are are a house of cards because without the ability to legally enforce debts, your Business is a fiction. Mackenzie Scott has donated $4.2 billion in four months. That's a billion dollars a month. Bravo. We need much more people like that in the world. Um, would be a lot fewer problems to solve. Robin Hood was fined by the SEC, which I think is totally hypocritical. I said very much in the beginning of, of Robin Hood's rise that they made their uh, money off of order flow. Uh, I've traded the stock market. Um, that's how anybody that knows the backstory knows that's one of the reasons why ASM exists. As soon as I saw the business model, I said, oh, okay, they're not charging uh, fees. So what they're doing is they're selling the order flow. Well, that's their business model. So all of a sudden the SEC decides that's not okay. Well, I would say, why'd you give them their license in the first place with those particulars? Right now, um, ASM has 12,153 accounts in 104 nations. There was a UK social media ruling. Just like to point out, it means absolutely nothing in California or the United States. Absolutely nothing. The direction of the law in this country is toward regulation, controls, and clamping down on the lies and destruction going on in the public domain as a result of Section 230, which is complete garbage. Coca-Cola shed 2,200 jobs. Why is that a big deal? Well, these pillars of the economy that this stuff doesn't happen. You usually don't see soda go down. It's actually something that goes up uh, in these kinds of times. So it's just kind of an in economic indicator. Silicon Valley could become Detroit. Hear that again. Silicon Valley could become Detroit. 
that's uh, I don't think that's out of the question because the business case for Silicon Valley is eroding by the day, especially uh, with the uh, the outflows of people doing remote work and companies allowing you to um, to take your job anywhere. So gambling is for losers. You're going to hear this over and over and over. Why do I say that? Well, everybody loses but the house. Uh, the city loses, the public loses, sports lose, everybody loses. Um, and here's something you maybe never thought of or never heard of before, but uh, I had very extensive conversations with uh, my mentor many years ago, Gary Halbert. Look him up, uh, Gary Halbert, about gambling, because I wanted to understand the psychology of gambling. Well, here's the psychology of gambling. People don't gamble to win. They gamble to lose. Hear that again. People do not gamble to win. They gamble to lose. So why do you think they sit in front of those slot machines until all the money is gone? Think about it. So um, in an incredibly, I mean, a rem I don't know, maybe that's not the right word these days. In an astounding piece of news, Nickelodeon seems to be setting up a TV program schedule with the NFL to hook kids on gambling right from the start. So my comment on that is shame, shame, shame on you. And we're going to shine, and I'm sure we won't be alone, a very bright light on this. Google and Facebook apparently had some kind of a scheme going on. Uh, this is only going to make things worse in terms of clamping down on the lies and destruction going on in the social media space. The SEC is suing XRP and its founders big time. Pay very close attention to this. As I've said over and again, over and again, crypto is a non-productive use of, of capital. It's just a big casino. That's all it is. That's all it ever will be. Visa is clamping down on gambling transactions. This is a news story from today. Pay attention. This is an, this is part of the teeth of the Wire Act. So they're trying to spin it in the gambling space. is not a big deal. It is a very big deal. Visa clamping down on gambling transactions. And then ASM is a platform. So I, there will be more discussion about this as time moves on. But that's really how I see it. Uh, as a platform, as a utility, basically, to build upon. And then finally, um, you know, in these difficult times, I, I, you know, certainly the most difficult I've seen in my lifetime, try to have some sort of uh, connection with your friends and your family, even if it's just over video or whatever. Send more emails, you know, be closer than you normally would, even if it's just electronically. Uh, everybody needs it. So Merry Christmas, and I will uh, speak with you again in a week. Bye now.